Hey there everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons! So, it's time for us to make our way to the... first, uh, main dungeon of the game. Which is just a short trip up this way. Yeah, we don't have any more gosh of seeds for now, though. Also, I apologize for that first episode, uh, using my headset. Didn't exactly sound the best. But that was my first time playing this game in years, so I didn't want to redo it. The Gnarled Root Dungeon. Since it's just the first dungeon, it's not going to be anything difficult. It's certainly more complex than the, uh... The, uh, Hero's Cave Dungeon. But not majorly so. You'll find that old man here and there throughout the game. He gives you hints and tips. I remember there's also some secret rooms you can find where he will either give you or take away rupees from you. Yeah, we got the dungeon map. Kind of looks like an upside down tree, which I guess makes sense. It's the gnarled root dungeon. The dungeon name and the map layout are often related. Okay, I see what we need to do here. And this is... Oh, it's a Gasha Seed. There's the compass. Yeah, the chest, or the compass is very useful because it uh, lets you see where all the chests in the dungeon are. Oh yeah, we need to walk back here in order to get this chest. And there's our first bombs. Now here's a little bit of a tip. I think the game actually gives you this tip later, but uh... If you poke the sword against the wall, listen to the noise. Well, let's get rid of the keys first. Okay. See, hear that noise? So you notice it makes a different noise if you hit it against a uh, breakable wall. See, there are some breakable walls that are not obvious. Like, they don't actually appear cracked, 
But you can still use the sword to detect them, though. Oh shoot, we need a key over here. It's been a long time. <laughs> Oh yeah, whenever you hear that noise, that's actually the compass alerting to uh, alerting you that there is either a key or a chest that you can find. That's like hidden in the room, like you haven't uncovered it. So yeah, every dungeon will have a mini-boss fight. The first one is certainly nothing difficult, and once you defeat the mini-boss, you get a teleport back to the start of the dungeon. Alright, so there's the Seed Satchel. So you can use Ember Seeds to light things, basically. You can light torches and also burn, like, certain plants with them, too. For instance, right here. Ah, get off me! And now that we have the boss key, we can go fight the boss. But first, let us head in here. Yeah, watch out for the wall masters. If those capture you, then they will carry you back to the beginning of the dungeon. Oh yeah, I forgot you could find rings in treasure chests. Oh right, this is the way that actually leads to the boss. I actually forgot about that. <laughs> oh shoot! Well, yeah, that's what happens. Also, yes, I am aware of the rewind feature, but I'm not going to abuse that. We're gonna play this game legit. Alright, boss time.
So yeah, this this guy is pretty easy. That is to say, extremely easy. And for de defeating bosses, we get heart containers, which of course gives us one additional heart. And here is our first essence of nature. So that is a hint for where we need to go next. Ah oh yes, I remember this character. Okay, so yeah, you'll you'll run into her here and there throughout the game, and basically both you and her will drop a bunch of stuff, and you basically just have to race to pick it all up. Here's one of those secret rooms I was talking about. He gives us a hundred rupees. Ah, yes. She is another character that we will uh, need to bring an item to in the trading sequence. I think there's another one right here. Oh no, there's not. Oh hey, this is fully grown. Go ahead and replant a Gasha seed there. I'm not sure if it's immediately obvious, but as the game goes on, uh, the Maku tree will actually, like, slowly grow as you find the essences of nature, which is interesting.
So yeah, current objective is to find the Temple of Seasons. Yeah, that's something that we'll be doing much, much later in the game. Oh yeah, this is actually a rendition of the Song of Storms from Ocarina of Time. This character is a reference to that, too. There's a piece of heart up there, but we can't get to that just yet. I remember that character. Oh yeah, one of the uh, hidden things was over here. I thought so anyway. Oh, maybe not. Okay, let's follow her. If I remember right, I think the game tries to pull a trick on you at the end of this. Like, we just need to wait here. Oh, yep. Yeah, don't fall for that. <laughs> and there's one of them portals. Where does it lead? Why, to none other than Sabrosia. guys just casually bathe in lava. They're kind of like Gorons, I guess, in that sense. Might actually need a bit of a refresher on this.
Oh my gosh, I'm actually listening to this on my Elgato, so it's like a second or two behind. Oh, I knew- th I knew this was going to be a problem. Rhythm-based minigames, when you what you're listening to is off-sync, is... Uh, it's a bit of a problem. Okay, yeah, this- this is gonna take practice. Okay, yeah, this isn't working. I'm gonna have to turn up my TV and listen to it on that. Okay, so yeah, let's now let's do this this mini game no problem. There we go. Can we do that again? Okay, so you get ore chunks as a reward. Uh, those are basically the rupees... ...of Sabrosia. Cause, yeah, they have their own currency here. Also, I should probably turn the TV down and put my headset back on. Okay.
And there it is, the Rod of Seasons. So yeah, first we need to go get the power of winter. Which is not over here. Alright, this is why you need the boomerang. So yeah, now with the Rod of Seasons, we can start making our way to the next dungeon. See, that particular one's gonna need a key to get in there. We can't get any more uh, Season powers right now. We get them one by one over the course of the game. Oh yeah, I need the key for that, too. Okay, that's pretty much everything that we can see and visit around here for now. So, back to Holodrum. Oh, we definitely will. Should probably end this episode soon.
Ah yes, in winter you can get across that. That's how you do it. So I think we can go get that piece of heart now. Let's go get those rings appraised real quick. I was gonna do that earlier, but it slipped my mind. That one could be useful. <laughs> you can't even choose anything else. Yeah, I don't think we can exactly use a game link cable here. <sighs> I never had a game link cable. Oh, I wasn't even equipped with the friendship ring until now. Okay, apparently I'm not sure how to do this. Oh, right, you have to go to him and, like, have him put the ring into the box, I think. This one will probably come in handy later. Oh, yeah. That, um tree right there actually has ember seeds. But it has to be a specific season before you can get them. I think it's winter? In which case... Uh, isn't there a stump up here, actually? Wait, no? Hey, what does the shop sell? 
Oh yeah, we can get a shield. Oh my gosh, the stump is right here. There we go. Okay. I think that is good for this episode. Next time, we're gonna be heading for the second dungeon. See you, everyone.